Hello and welcome to the True Crime Lounge. This is my name is Breezy, and if you're new here, I want you to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. Today we are talking about the children of God. So why am I talking about a cult on True Crime Lounge channel? Well, cults do break laws. Um, especially because I am from the United States, so and knowing some of this stuff, it's just very interesting too. Anyway, so what exactly is the children of God? Well, the children of God is a cult and is a religious group that originated in California in 1968. Because its leaders had historically limited members' access to the outside world, and asked them to give up their money and worldly possessions, the children of God is generally considered a cult. So the group became notorious when the news stories emerged accusing the members of sexually abusing children. Children of God, now known as Family International, is still active till this day. So what are the origins in the early years? Well, the cult's early beginning is rooted in... <laughs> In the, counter, in the counterculture movement in the late 1960s, when founder David Brant Berg, a pastor and evangelist for the Christian and Missionary Alliances, became leader of a youth ministry called Teen Challenge in Huntington Beach, California in 1967. Well, Berg recruited the group's members out of the hippies and outcasts and had flocked to Southern California during the Free Love Era. He organized a group of young people to roam the streets. Prostitute. Processalizing. <laughs> I probably just butchered that up and I'm sorry. About the love of Jesus. So in 1969. Berg left the Nationalist Teen Challenge group and formed his own group called the Light Club, which would eventually be known as the Children of God. He changed the name of Mo to Moses David and married his second wife, stating that polygamy was sanctioned by the Old Testament. He told his followers that God had appointed him in the end time prophet that he would be playing a significant role in the second coming of Christ, who was soon be returning to Earth. Well, Berg was maintained. Well, Berg also maintained he had been to in touch with a spirit guy named Abraham, who was Abraham, who was relaying divine messages to him. So, okay. So, what exactly did this cult teach and practice? Well. After claiming that God himself had gifts to him with prophecies, Berg soon began making extreme demands of his followers. New members of Children of God were asked to donate everything they owned to their group, then server all contact with them with their families. This would also encourage them to give up any sort of employment and become full-time evangelists for Christ. Sounds innocent, right? Well... They were also the children of God also formed many communes across the country and within within just a few years. They were there were over 120 located around the globe. In the mid seventies, Berg began in, to encourage female members of Children of God to practice what he called flirty fishing. Sounds gross in my opinion. Based on Jesus' injunction in Matthew 4.19 saying, Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Berg instructed the female followers to go to bars, pick up men, seduce them into converting and joining the children of God. Well, in the summer, well, in 1979 annual report, Berg stated that children of God evangelists had witnessed over a quarter of a million souls, loved over 25,000 of them, and won about 19,000 to the Lord. So in 1978, Berg changed the group's name to the Family of Love and later changed it simply to Family. So sexual contact was potential, with potential converts became a routine practice when the group's membership in some cases followed family evangelists, even used escort services to identify potential targets for recruitment. The practice of sexual sharing 
and open sexual relationships became between existing members was encouraged. So how did the charges of abuse come about? Well, in 1989, the family issued a press release and official statement condemning sexual acts involving manners and announced that any family, any member found abusing a child would be immediately excommunicated. Former members, children of God's children of God have been outspoken about their childhood abuse they suffered growing up in children of God communes. Actress Rose McGowan lived with her parents in Children of God group in Italy until she was nine. In her memoir Brave, she talks she has she wrote about her experience, her early memories being beaten by a cult member and recalled how the group advocated for sexual relationships between adults and children. Christina Babin, whose parents whose parents raised her in Children of God, described the child abuse in the following terms. A letter arrived from the Children of God leader Moses David encouraging adults to teach children how to have sex, claiming it was healthy and good. And the sexual abuse began. I was violated in every way from the time from the age of twelve to many times I care to remember. But sex was encouraged with children who were far younger. Some other notable members included act actor Joaquin Phoenix, journalist Susan Dupay, Dupay, <laughs> and Fleetwood Mac founder Jeremy Spencer. So what about the later years? Well, following Berg's death in 1994, the family was taken over by his widow, Karen Zerby. In 1995, the group was subject to a lawsuit, a British lawsuit. Following a trial uh, to the custody of the first to a child born into the cult, of cult, the uh, Lord Justice Ward <laughs> uh, wrote a 295 page opinion on the family. Ward determined that the group had permitted sexual abuse of minors, delivery, isolated, sequestered children away from their parents, and used extensive corporal punishment. Ward also concluded that. The time of the trial, the children, those practices had ceased, and that the family would pre presently an unsafe environment for children. The family international is still an active group, and former members still continue to speak up about the abuse that they were that faced them that they faced during their time in the court. So, what are some facts about the children of God? Well, the children of God is also known as the family, the family international and began in the 1960s and is still active to this day. Because of its limited members' access to the outside world, um, the members were asked to give up m money and possessions. The children of God is considered a cult. I believe it to be a cult. Uh, so numerous former members have alleged that as children, they experienced repeated physical, emotional, and sexual abuse at the hands of children of God members and leaders. Alright, that is it for today's episode. I will see y'all next time, and y'all have a great day.